Hey everybody, so today I wanted to let y'all in on another dupe from the Hush app. Uh, before we get into that, please be sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do these dupes whenever they come up. If I've already got the high end in stock, I always compare them, see which one I like better, and I put one on one eye and one on the other. So, you get this intro to guess which one's high end and which one is the dupe. Is it this side, this is my left or my right? You can see the looks are very similar, but you can definitely see the differences. So I want y'all to write in the comments right now which side do you think is the actual Sweet Peach palette? Because we all know this is one of the best palettes ever and we love this palette. And it smells like peaches and it's just incredible. They did such an amazing job with this palette. So is it this eye? Or is it this eye? You tell me. So um, before we get into the look, I wanna give y'all a sneak peek at these little palettes. <clears throat> so Sweet Peach is this one. So this is our high end and this is our dupe. Now the way these dupes work basically is they just switch around the shades, change up the names, change the packaging a little, but let's be real. You can definitely tell that if these aren't supposed to be dupes, they're definitely supposed to be something. They open and close the same way, same color scheme, so similar. So while we're here, I'm gonna get you a couple of swatches. So the first color I want to swatch because I adore this color is Talk Derby To Me. It is black with some purple glitter, if you can see that. <clears throat> So I'm going to swatch you. I'm going to put two layers on the swatch just so you can get the color. And then I'm going to go into sugar. And here's blueberry ice. It's got that same black with the same purple flecks of glitter. I wanted to use this in my look today, but I did not. You can see there. Uh, the main difference I see, this is Sweet Peach, this is Sugar. This is a teeny bit chunkier. It's not bad though, it's just got more glitter, it's a little thicker glitter. Okay, so I also want to swatch... Mm -mm -mm. Let me swatch uh, Luscious by Peach Pie for y'all. This is a good lid color. It goes luscious and cinnamon sugar. And like with all of these videos, I will do my best to match up the colors and let you know in the description. You can see here, this is a really pretty shimmer. It's basically the same. Pigmentation's incredible. Which one's which? Sweet Peach Dupe. There's a little bit of difference, but not much. So I'm just gonna give you those two swatches for now. If you'll want a full swatch and actual review of this, let me know. Uh, the video is gonna be kind of long. So I wanna go ahead and get off of here and y'all are about to find out which one's high end and which one's dupe. So let me know what y'all think. Uh, let me know which one you would pick. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Be sure you subscribe to my channel and that you hit that little bell so you know every time I post. I will see y'all in a second, guys. Okay, guys, so time to dive right in to these palettes. Um, like I said, these, these are not identical, so I'm probably going to be walking around looking kind of wonky at lunch today, but it's all right. I'm thinking that for today, I want to go for a 
kind of olive green and orangey look. So we're just going to jump right in. And of course, like always, we have to go in with our transition shade first. So here's for the reveal. We're going to go in with peaches and cream. <clears throat> and this is going to be my high end eye. So did you guess it right? Let me know in the comments if you picked the right eye as my high end. Over here, uh, the closest to peaches and cream is going to be glazed. So we are going to dip in with the same kind of brush, but it is a different one. We're going to put that all over the lid over here. It looks like the fallout from these palettes is about the same. So <clears throat> that's a definite thing that is not different. Um, okay, so next I want to dip in with, okay, I'm going to dip in with puree right here. I'm going to put this all up in my crease. That way um, I have a whole lot of area to work with, like always with hooded eyes. Sometimes if you really want your look to pop, you just have to put it up farther than other people do because all of this just gets covered up. So all you're going to see is what you put over this area. So it may seem a little crazy and like you have on way too much, but if you're going to do detail, it's got to go up here or it is going to disappear. <clears throat> okay, so that's a good little transition shade. And over here, hot cocoa looks like it's going to be the closest. So we're just going to dip into that and do the same thing. It does look a tiny bit darker. And I got a whole heap of product on my brush but it is going on about the same not a whole lot of difference which is definitely a good thing i was worried when i saw that product it's a little bit darker it's blending really well but you can definitely tell there there's a difference okay <clears throat> So since I want to go for this olive green-ish vibe, I'm going to pick up, oh, this is where the colors get kind of funky. Okay, I'm going to pick up, bless her heart, it's this olive green color in the Sweet Peach palette. And I'm going to bring this a little lower down in my crease, but just a little bit, because I still want it to show up. I'm just not going to blow it out as much. So we're going to bring that here and we're going to have to build it up, it appears. Uh, this is kind of, it's not a shimmer, it's kind of more of a satin shade. So <clears throat> it has to be built up just a little bit more. And that's all right. Building colors is always a good thing. As long as it's possible, I can handle that. Okay. <clears throat> and I think what I want to go ahead and do is bring this down into my inner corner. And my outer. Because what I want to do, I have decided, is a halo eye. Because I think that would be a really pretty kind of look for today. So we're going to pack this in and build it up. I think that's pretty close to what I'm going for. <clears throat> 
So we're going to grab our other brush and over here we're going to grab pistachio and I'm hoping, and I, I never hope this, but I hope this oxidizes a bit because it looks way brighter in the sugar palette. But it's the closest to an olive green that's in here. So here is to hoping. Okay, and then just bring that down on the inner and outer corner. And I'm not going to build it up dark. I didn't on the high end side either. Because since these are a little more satiny, they're not going to build up very dark anyways. Unless I take forever to do it. Okay, so now... Oh, we're going to be brave. I'm going to dip into Tempting right here with the same brush that I've been using the whole time. And I'm just going to deepen up this outer corner. And right here. You don't hear my dog whining in the background. Like I don't know why she's always so upset. I fed her right before I came up here. She's always so mad. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I can hear that. Okay. <clears throat> so that should deepen up this outer corner. And the closest thing in here is going to be licorice. Yeah. It looks the closest. Yep. So I'm going to take it. Same drill over here I'm gonna have to go check on that stinking dog in a second y'all I'm a pet mom I guess that's important to know I know you've seen like my little cat coffee cups I have three cats and two dogs. Uh, one of my dogs is outside, so my house isn't completely full of animals. But I have this little chihuahua that just like drives me bonkers. And yes, mom, I know you're going to watch my video. She drives me crazy. She is the worst some days. I mean, she's super sweet and she tries to be like a good little dog, but she just... She just isn't. I'm going to get a little more tempting and see if I can blend this up in here just a little better. And I just tapped it once because I feel like it uh, actually didn't blend quite as well. Maybe because I picked up too much. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> okay. Um, and my favorite color right now, I'm almost broken hearted because I can't figure out which color in this palette is supposed to look like it maybe you no okay so here's the thing with this palette it's not bad it's definitely a dupe but unlike like the retro love and all that stuff like this is not an identical dupe like I'm having the world's worst time trying to figure out what goes where and I want to use Bellini which is this gorgeous color right here but I don't see it over here because I see you go to you you go to you you go there so maybe it is supposed to be I don't know we are just gonna instead use just peachy with 
candied peach on top of it because I know from previous experience that candied peach does not lay down well by itself because it's a shimmer uh, but it's not like a regular shimmer it's like a really transparent kind so we're just going to use our finger and we're going to pat just peachy kind of in the center and I'm probably going to drag it over to here just because I couldn't get that as dark as I wanted but we're going to do that first. Okay, and so now that we have just peachy in there, we're going to pick up candied peach. And it's like a really, like, it's just super sheer. And it's just going to add a little bit of sparkle on top of the other color. So then over here, we're going to dip into cherry pie and then candy. And I think those are going to be the comparative colors to that. But don't hold me to it. And y'all, I got to get up here in this mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so it does look like this color in particular. It matches, but it looks more pigmented. Which is always good with colors like these. So as you can see, that pink's just a little bit brighter. And then we're just going to pick up candy and lay that over the top. And I'm not like rubbing it across the top because if I do that, then I'm going to take off all that other color. I'm going to try over here because I think I may have possibly rubbed too hard on this one and that could be why it's not as pigmented as I wanted and I'm really trying to pack it on on this side and I think I finally got about the same amount of pigment yeah okay <clears throat> So I guess the last thing I need to do, oh, if I can decide what colors go together, I'm going to take a little bit of Luscious, I'm just going to take that on my ring finger and I'm going to pop it in the brow bone and in the inner corner and I will probably have to touch this up once my face makeup is done, but that's alright. And then, since I'm loud and crap, we're here, I'm going to take cinnamon sugar, and I'm going to take it on this ring finger. It is super pigmented too. And just sweep that in my brow bone. And then, my inner corner. Okay, so right now I'm a little messy, but I'm going to hop off camera, do the rest of this face, and uh, I'll be back in a second with my final look. I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, guys, so the face is done. Um, foundation, highlight, keeping in time with the video. I used one of my Bad Habit highlights, or is it Bad Habit? I don't know, it's off the Hush app, but it's the Unicorn Glow. I used the blue color on my cheeks, and y'all, blinding. It's more blinding over here. I did better on this side. And I use the orange color on my nose and my cupid's bow. Oh, love it. Okay, so <laughs> back on topic. The last thing to do is my lower lash line. And I'm just going to dip into the first colors I used. So let me get some of this excess off of this brush. I'm going to dip into puree, which is that tan color. <clears throat> and then I'll dip into my olive color. And I'll dip into my even darker olive. And then I'm going to take Luscious and touch up this inner corner. Because my concealer killed it. <clears throat> okay, so same thing on the dupe. I'm going to take Hot Cocoa. 
So leave that under here. I'm gonna take pistachio. There's a little more kickback on the dupe, but it's not much more. Sweep that under here. Take licorice, which was my even darker greenish tint. Sweep that under here. Now I'm going to go into cinnamon sugar. Tap you in this inner corner. And that's going to be it for today. So need to know how y'all feel because I feel like these palettes are similar enough that if you don't want to splurge for this one this is a great alternative however if it were me I'm still going to prefer my sweet peach that's just a personal preference um like in my given situation now I couldn't drop 40 something dollars for this palette just couldn't do it not just because it was pretty. When I got this, I was in the situation where I could. So now, this is the direction I would go. Because if you look, honestly, the dupe is brighter. The colors are almost identical. And I have to say, like, the, the quality is not so much better. It's just more pigmented. And I mean, pigmented is always a good thing. So, uh, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I'm going to say both are a definite win for me. Definitely a dupe. Great product. Love it. So, uh, comment down there. Hit my subscribe button. And I will see y'all in a couple of days. Bye, you guys.